Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download, install and use the Tall Vocoder, which is a free vocoder plugin that works with Pro Tools and also other DAWs. So first, go to their website, which is tall-software.com and then you go to plugins and then you scroll down until you see the Tall Vocoder on the right. There are other free plugins by this company that you can also download and try. Then download the version for your operational system. In my case, it's Mac. And then you're gonna save it and install it according to the instructions. After you download it and installed it, you can open Pro Tools. If you already had Pro Tools open, then you're gonna need to close it and open it again so that it loads the plugin. Now there are two ways to use this plugin. You can use its built-in synthesizer as the carrier signal, or you can use your own synthesizer. Either way, you need to start with creating an audio track and assigning your microphone as its input. So I'm going to create a mono audio track and I'm going to call it Vox. Then I'm going to assign my microphone as its input. And if I record enable the track, I can see the meter modulating, which is good. Now to use the built-in synthesizer of the vocoder, you have to follow these steps. So first, assign the output of that Vox track to a bus. So in this case, I'm going to select bus 4. And then now, you want to create a mono instrument track. right? Make sure it's not audio track and also make sure it's not stereo. It has to be a mono instrument track. And I'm going to call this vocoder. Then insert the vocoder plugin, which is going to be under instruments here, tall vocoder 2. Now as the key input, and you're going to see that on the left top corner, you have to select bus 4, which is the bus that your vox track is going to. Now you need to record enable both tracks. So you record enable the vox track, and you also record enable the vocoder track. And as you can see, there's no signal going through yet. That is because you need to press some keys on your keyboard to trigger the built-in synthesizer, which is here on the left. Once I do that, we're going to start hearing the vocoder. And then there are several parameters that you can adjust. First, you can adjust the oscillators. So you can use sawtooth wave or you can use pulse wave or both. You can also add a sub to make your vocal sound a little heavier. Check, 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 check. The range parameter is going to adjust the octave of your voice. It can be very high or it can be super low. So, it's your choice. Moving on to the vocoder part of it, you can adjust the level of sibilance. So, for example, I can have no sibilance at all. So this is going to create a sound with almost no sibilance. But if I adjust the S level, then now my signal is going to have a higher sibilance. And then you can also play around with the band filters here. So this works similarly as a graphic equalizer. So you can bring up the high end like this, and make a brighter sound. Now, if you wish to use another synthesizer as the carrier signal, this is how you're going to set it up. So first I'm going to delete this vocoder track, and I'm going to create a mono instrument track to host my favorite synthesizer. So in this case, I'm going to use Xpand. So I'm going to insert Xpand. It's going to be under Instruments. And I'm going to select one of my favorite patches, which I don't really have, but let's try basic saw pad. Let's listen to how it sounds. Okay, this is working fine. Now I'm going to assign the output of this mono track to bus 3. And I'm going to keep my vocals assigned to bus 4. I'm going to create a new instrument track, but 
this time it's going to be stereo. So stereo instrument track. And I'm going to call this vocoder. And I'm going to insert the vocoder plugin under multi-channel instrument tall vocoder 2. Now what is different here is that I'm not going to use the key input. What I'm going to do is check this option, input mode on. Now the vocoder is going to receive the left channel as a carrier and the right channel as a modulator. So I need to change the input of this track as bus 3, 4. So now my expand is going to bus 3, which is my left channel, which is my carrier. And my vocals is going to bus 4, which is going to be my modulator. So now my vocoder is going to have the sound characteristics of the expand patch that I chose. So now I just have to record enable all of the tracks. And then, once again, you're not going to get any signal until you press some keys on your MIDI controller. And here it goes. This is my vocoder going through my own synthesizer. Isn't this the coolest effect ever? I know. I know you like it. Now I can still manipulate the level of the bands here to manipulate the sound. And there are other parameters that you can play around with too. Now one important thing is that if you want to record the sound of your vocoding, you have to record the three tracks at the same time. So here we go. Now I'm recording my vocoder. Now I'm recording my vocoder in Pro Tools. And that's it.